Hello, and welcome to my channel. I'm Mandy Grace, author of 10 young adult novels so far, eight of which I'm rewriting this year. Welcome to vlog 21 of that adventure, I think. <laughs> Um, this past weekend, I was at a convention, had a booth, sold some books. I took my little twinkly fairy light situation um, to decorate the table, and it was cute, it was lovely, I'm glad that I did it, but because we stretched them out across the table, I couldn't get them to not be stretched anymore on the shelf, so they used to all be just one line right up here but I couldn't get it to not be as long as the table, so now it goes twice. I apologize that the air just turned on. I'm gonna make this quick. Um, rewriting book three and Robin Hood retelling right now. Um, this... <laughs> I can't make this quick. Um, so, if you watched previous vlogs, you'll already know this. If not, let me recap. In the original Dusty, there's a lot of interruptions to the story because Dusty is dictating her story to her husband, and sometimes he adds his own little helpful comments throughout the original book. And I love some of those comments, but I decided to cut them. And then for a week or so, I debated putting a just entire POV from Will's perspective, and then decided not to. So basically we just cut Will out, except when Dusty herself is interacting with him. <sighs> this weekend at my booth, um, my biggest, biggest fan, who buys all of my books and chats with me every year that I'm at this convention and just shakes with excitement when talking to me about the my books that she has read and it's just it blows my mind that someone gets this excited about something that I have created but anyway point is my biggest fan and I were discussing my books this past weekend and um turns out she actually really loves Will's interruptions she was flipping through the book and like reading certain interruptions to me and laughing about them being like how could you cut this out so huh now I'm back to thinking I should have Will's interruptions because one of my actual readers really loves them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. We'll see. So, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but I'm gonna <laughs> look at, I'm looking at Will this hour and I'm back to debating whether I should just leave him in because my, my reader loves it. Yes, the fans have spoken, exactly. So, <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to backtrack through what I've been writing of Dusty, where I was cutting out Will, and put him back in. I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was, it was nice to get the feedback, but it was also like, ah, oh, man, <laughs> I just cut him out. <laughs> well, for me, I mean, I honestly, I really enjoyed his interruptions, and I was sad to cut them out, but I guess I just felt like they, there wasn't enough of it. Like, some of his interruptions are literally, like, three lines of dialogue between him and Dusty before it's back in the story, and I was like, it just, like, cuts off the, the pace and the building of tension, and you're, like, out of it, and then you get back in, and I was, I just, I didn't think that it was good, even though I enjoyed it. But apparently my readers also enjoy it, so I guess it doesn't matter if it's slowing the tension or not. I don't know. <laughs> But, I mean, I, I really loved Will's interruptions, too, and I was, like, the very first one that I cut out during this rewrite, like, I, I had to pause writing, I was just, like, grieving the loss of Will. Um, so it's kind of nice to put him back in, to be honest, I just, I wasn't expecting to do that. That's where we're at. I'm currently, uh, still putting Will back in the story after I took him out. Um, so that's where we're at. We're, um, yep, we're just putting Will back where he was originally because the readers have spoken. So that's, that's where we're at. Yeah, I, um, I work for three teachers, so I'm free over the summers. Uh, so I always move back to the farm. Not in the pantry, but like in the, be in a bedroom. <laughs> Um, I've reached a point in the story where there's a betrayal that happens and everyone is stressed out about it and then um, I was just writing a scene where someone almost died and um, Dusty, my main character, is a healer so she's dealing with that currently so that's what I'll be writing during this hour.
I've discovered uh, since moving into my space here this week, um, I either need a shorter chair or I need a taller desk because it's different than the way I was writing back in my other home because that, like, it was just raised higher so I had a different, like, angle and now I'm, it's very down. I'm, like, leaning forwards over the desk like, uh, my back is killing me. <laughs> I reached a part in the story uh, where one of the gang um, has started feeding information to the bad guys and because of it, one of the members of the gang almost died. Um, and the main character of this book, Dusty, is the healer of the group, so she had to, like, deal with the aftermath of that, um, and she's kind of stressed out about it. So, that's where we're at. We're trying to keep this dude alive, and then also being like, who is betraying us? This is a problem. We are going to, uh, end the vlog there with my 6,000 day. It was a good day solid progress. I'm hoping I'll have a lot of days like that over the summer because I can get on more prickles now. We'll see. We'll see how this goes.